Intel had a rather interesting reveal for us today in the form of Project Alloy, a wireless controllerless VR headset. Now this was during their developer conference in San Francisco, in which the CEO Brian Kranich unveiled their sort of entry into the VR market, which will again be both wireless and controllerless. Now they also said that the VR headset doesn't need anything else, it doesn't need to be plugged into a PC or anything like that because again it is wireless. But So basically this means that the VR headset itself contains the computational and graphics power necessary to create the images as well as battery power and 3D cameras and sensors and all the other stuff that goes into making a VR headset is all included within the device. Now. Kranich unveiled the prototype version on stage and showed off some interesting features of the device including something he called merged reality where you basically manipulate real world objects with your hands and uh, basically for example someone wearing a alloy headset was able to use a dollar bill that he had actually in his hand as a lathe to shave down a virtual block of gold in the VR environment and also it could be used as for, for communication, entertainment and work, so you could be in some sort of like virtual conference thing while you're actually able to use your hands to do other tasks and also manipulate things in the virtual environment if you so desire. And he said, quote, we believe the capability of Alloy and what introduces is significant. It gives the opportunity to merge the physical and virtual world together. And you don't necessarily have to use an object in your hand, like say the dollar bill that I mentioned a moment ago, you could literally just use your hands. For example, the presenter was able to bend his fingers and so you could pull level levers rather and use real world objects to accomplish certain actions in VR. Now according to Intel, this sort of merge right now merged reality tech that's going on should alleviate some of the main concerns about VR headsets, so blocking out on the real world and creating a potentially dangerous situation for the users and other people in the room, perhaps you've got a bit of tight space, yada yada yada. And also naturally gets rid of the need for complex sensor setups or hand controllers and obviously you don't have wires training all over the place like you might do with say the Vive or the Oculus or what have you. Now Intel also said that they're planning to open source the uh, Alloy hardware next year alongside the RealSense application programming interface, which is the cameras that are built in or use the Intel RealSense uh, API there, and tech of course. So basically third party people can develop headsets of their own that run on Windows 10, perhaps tap, tap into Intel technology and yada yada yada, and obviously allow developers to kind of work with the tech and see what's going on. And Kranich said, Quote, anybody can take the Alloy hardware, combine it with Windows Holographic and build a world-class virtual reality system with any manufacturer they choose. You might be wondering, well, what's Windows Holographic? Well, that was also announced by the Windows chief, Terry Myerson, who announced the thing and said that developers can make and run mixed reality apps, which will be coming to Windows 10 PCs next year. Which essentially means that any VR or AR headset, and that's not just HoloLens, will be able to run 3D and even standard 2D apps designed for Windows 10. And as you'd expect, Intel and Microsoft are working together to release specs for mixed reality ready PCs as well as head mounted displays. Intel are also looking for other people to work with, but they did stress that it won't be until late 2017 when the headset and tech are further developed. There also was no price uh, for the headset or the chip technology within but they are also willing to sell to partners and other developers within the, uh, within the VR industry. So, rather interesting stuff. So not only is it a wireless VR headset, you have, again, the mixed reality thing where you kind of use your hands to manipulate and perhaps still see the real world in some way. You can use it for work purposes, say you're in a conference and you, know, you can manipulate objects within that virtual conference as well as say, oh, I'm also writing things down on this real world piece of paper or whatever. And it could have very, very interesting applications in gaming as well. So Intel bringing out some interesting stuff. Of course, it entirely depends on price, how it actually works in practice. Let's see what developers have to say about the device when they get their hands on it. All that stuff is going to be key to seeing whether or not this is actually going to be successful. But it is an interesting sort of entry into the VR market as, of course, the main contenders at the moment are, of course, the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive with the... Gear VR from Samsung at the lower end, sort of, hey, this is more for movies kind of thing, and then obviously the PlayStation VR coming out later this year. And they're all kind of doing the sort of same sort of experience, I guess you could say. Obviously, HoloLens is AR, but that we don't even know when it's coming out. So to see Intel kind of trying to mix the two things together is uh, really, really interesting, and I look forward to seeing what this device can actually do in practice. So, 
that's me done for this video but thank you very much for watching do let me know your thoughts and opinions as always and of course do remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already to help out a great deal and it's very appreciated again thanks for watching and i'll see you next time